Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how I turn this faux granite countertop into a workbench for my dad. So after I cleared off the top of it, I just unscrewed it from the studs and was able to move it into my workshop. So here I am just starting the assembly and cutting of the legs. I was going to just use multiple 4x4s on each side and then I instead decided to use 2x4s that I could make a little bike holder off the side of. As you can see my chop saw is somewhat makeshift at the moment because the old chop saw table is not large enough to fit the new chop saw. So I just pre-drilled and then countersunk and then drew some uh, decking screws and drywall screws in to just tie everything together. I didn't use glue because I wanted this to be slightly modular so if my dad ever wants to change how something is or readjust the height or anything anything like that he can just unscrew it and have wood to work with due to all the junk that had been accumulating on this bench in my other room the bench had a pretty nasty bow to it so after attaching all the legs and allowing for the bench to set a little bit the bow was pretty much resolved so you can see my leg attachment process here. I just created a grid on a piece of masking tape and then pre-drilled, countersank, and then drove some decking screws in. Here I'm just throwing a support between the 4x4s so that they align better and that they are nice and square. Here's the middle support and I didn't think this was going to do all that much but it actually helped out a lot when leveling the bench. This is my dad's bike station as it is and I'm going to be modifying it into the bench so that he can work on bikes without having this huge stand. This is the only part that I'm going to be using from the old setup. So after I had that disassembled, I was able to get a general idea of the type of supports that I was going to need off the side of the bench. I just used this scrap plywood that I had and cut it down to size. I was able to get both pieces out of this single sheet of plywood. For the supports, I went for a somewhat complicated design just to kind of keep down on the space it took up and also keep the bike stand away from the bench. I just did a couple sketch-ups on a piece of cardboard until I was satisfied with the design. Once again, I'm using the same masking tape and then laying out a grid so I can make sure that everything looks the best and also is nice and strong. My first drywall screws were not long enough to pass all the way through so it kind of just fell apart. I'm gonna make a collar so that the bike stand does not slide up. To ensure that my dad's bike holder does not get scratched up if he decides to take it out of this, I'm going to be using this, uh, it's like sticky foam. It's fun stuff. And 
then I showed my dad his project and he had the idea of disassembling his bike stand even further to harvest the bottom part so that the bike holder itself was more secure in the base. My dad was not the biggest fan of my M12 driver and drill so he quickly just went back to his M18s. So here's the bike stand, or workbench rather, in its completed form for now. There's still so much more for me to add and I hope that you come back in the future to check those videos out. Thanks for watching, have a great one.